We are now looking at scale drawings and scale factor, and this is IXL 8th grade, and this is section H13. So we've got Tatsu, a traveling salesman, who's selling products in Springfield, and he decides to go to Greenville the next day, which is 18 kilometers away. What is the distance between Springfield and Greenville on a map with a scale of 5 centimeters equal to 9 kilometers? So this is just a proportion problem. So we're going to set up a proportion. And so in this case, we have 5 centimeters to 9 kilometers. So 5 to 9. And then, since this is in kilometers, 18 kilometers, that's going to go on the bottom, 18 kilometers. And this is the thing we don't know, x centimeters. So just like any proportion, we will cross multiply. So 9 times x is 9x. Again, that goes on the right because the top, the numerator is on the right, so we want to keep that on this side. And over here, 18 times 5 is 90. So we have 9x equals 90, and you might be able to see the answer right away, but we still have to do the math. Divide by 9 on both sides because we want to undo this multiplying by 9. The opposite of multiplying by 9 is to divide by 9. And whatever we do to one side, you have to do to the other. So here on the right, it reduces to simply x, or 1x, and 90 divided by 9 is 10. So on the map, Greenville would be 10 centimeters. All right, we're going to do a couple more because these are pretty straightforward. Uh, but it's all come down to, it's all going to come down to uh, setting up your proportions and cross multiplying and then dividing. All right, so this is a little bit different problem. Uh, it says the University in Bloomington is a satellite campus 16 miles away in Seaside, a distance that is represented by 32 inches on a map. What is the scale of the map? So in this case, we need to find both. We don't know um, one of them. We, we're not trying to find that distance. We just want to know what the whole map is using. So again, this is we don't even set up the proportion for this, and we just have to set up the ratio. So it's inches to miles, so I'll put 32 inches to 16 miles. And now I can ignore the units, the inches and miles, and this is really just 32 over 16. So I have to just reduce this fraction. And now there's a couple ways I can look at this. I happen to know that 16 times 2 is 32, 16 times 1. So I know that 16 is a common factor, it's the greatest common factor. And this would be 2 inches, because that's on top 2 one mile on the bottom. That's one way to do it. Maybe you didn't see that. So in this case, we might have said, well, these are both even. So this would be 2 times 16 over 2 times 8. And hopefully, you would have recognized that, oh, a 16 here. But maybe you didn't, and that's OK, too. And then you may say, oh, wait, I know that 4 goes into both of these things. So this is 4 times 4 and 4 times 2. And you can keep reducing this way, and 4 over 2 reduces to 2 over 1. So again, there's if you can find the greatest common factor, your work is done. But you might have to do it step by step if you don't happen to see that greatest common factor. So again, we set up the ratio and reduced, because now we're trying to find both of those numbers. All right, so here's a third example of scale drawings and scale factors. And this is asking, uh, we, he's drawing a, a scale drawing of a petting zoo. And the goat pen, which is 9 meters long in real life, is 6 millimeters long in the drawing. What is the drawing's scale factor? So this is a little bit different. Scale factor. So this is where we're going to put the smaller one on top, in this case 6 millimeters on top, and 9 meters on the bottom. Alright, so now we've got a put these in the same units. That's how the scale factor works. The units on top have to be the same as the units on bottom. So I'm going to leave this in 6 millimeters because trying to convert millimeters to meters would make a very small number. Instead, let's make these meters into millimeters. So I know that there are 1,000 millimeters in 1 meter. 
that's the advantage of the of uh, the metric system is that it's just multiples of 10. I also know there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So we have lots of options here. But again, we want these both in millimeters. So 9 meters, well, for every 1 meter, there's 1,000 millimeters. So in 9 meters, there will be 9,000 millimeters. So now we can ignore the units, and this becomes 6 over 9,000. So now I have to say, OK, I know that 3 goes into 6. That's 3 times 2. And on the bottom, I, that would be 3 times 3,000. Perfect. 3's reduce. So now I have, oh wait, these are both even, which I could have seen over here as well. So this becomes a 1. And this one, 3,000 divided by 2 is simply 1,500. So 1 over 1,500. That is our scale factor of the drawing. It has reduced everything by 1,500. So again, we've got 9 meters down to millimeters. OK, so now this is another scale factor of the drawing. We have 6 meters in real life, 4 meters long in the drawing, or four, sorry, 4 centimeters long in the drawing. So again, we put the smaller one on top and the larger one on the bottom. So again, we have centimeters and millimeters. And we have to re remember that in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. Because again, this word cent, this root, that means 100. You know, we have words like century which is 100 years. So we then convert and say, OK, let's convert it all into centimeters. So 6 meters, 6 times 100 is going to be 600 centimeters. So we have 4 over 600 that we're working with. We can ignore the units. Well, I have to know that this is 4 times 1. This can be reduced 2 times. We can divide this in half twice. So I know 4 goes into it. So in this case, it's going to be 4 times 150, because 4 goes into 60 15 times, and we throw that extra 0 on. So 4 reduces in here, 1 over 150. So that's our scale factor. Again, this one went a little faster than the last one, but the process is the same. We set up our ratio, and then we make sure the units are the same in this case. When we're trying to find the scale factor, you want the units to be the same which means you have to do some conversion.